Hello, I'm Bernadine Voss, Mayor of the City of Port Phillip. Port Phillip is home to incredible restaurants, cafes and bars. And to say that this year has been a challenge for them is an understatement. As we move to the easing of restrictions over the next few months, Council is committed to doing all we can to support our hospitality traders as they move their offerings to the streets for a summer that will be like no other. Footpath trading fees have been waived until the 31st of December and traders can also apply to increase their outdoor trading footprint where space allows for this. Repurposing parking bays outside your business in the interests of increasing footpath trading and providing a safe, physically distanced environment for your patrons. This week, we learned that we have received a 100,000 grant from the State Government's Neighbourhood Activity Renewal Fund. And this will fund a number of community parklets being installed around our city that will provide further opportunity for residents to gather when safe to do so, relax and also eat and drink outdoors. Parklets involve the temporary use of parking space or spaces to extend public open spaces across the municipality with the intention to provide a safe place for congregation, accessible public seating, street greening and additional footpath space. Business parklets will aid in managing the immediate challenges associated with the phased opening of business activity in response to COVID-19. By increasing trading areas, businesses with parklets will be able to increase trade and public frontage exposure to ensure social distancing regulations are upheld. Residents will benefit also, of course, with the extra capacity to wine and dine. Businesses can also apply to council to fund their own parklets if they're not able to benefit from those we choose to build. Information on how to apply to install a parklet is available on our website and we're there to guide you as you go through this process. Also on our agenda is the development of play streets. A play street involves the temporary closure of a street, reimagining a street as a public space, encouraging connection and play through dedicated COVID-19 safe programming. With a focus on encouraging social inclusion, intergenerational play and safe spaces together, the City of Port Phillip will be announcing our Play Street program soon. We understand that our traders are struggling and I know all of you will be joining me in committing to making the City of Port Phillip our next key destination over the next months as we come together as a community in bringing the City of Port Phillip back to life.